get it here right now. Florida's six week ban for most abortions is in effect after being held up in court. Among those against it, a Lakeland couple who tonight are sharing a very personal story of life and death. Tonight they spoke with 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio about why they're strongly supporting a referendum to protect abortion rights. The grief comes in waves. Deborah Dorbert is still mourning. The last year has been kind of a roller coaster. She gave birth to baby Milo last year, knowing he wouldn't survive. And the only sound you heard him make after she laid him on my chest was him gasping for air. One year later, Deborah and her husband Lee are still processing the pain. All I could focus on was in that the little time that we had with him to try to show him as much love as we possibly could. Deborah was about 23 weeks pregnant when medical staff noticed something was wrong. They find out Milo had Potter syndrome, a life-threatening condition which causes the loss of amniotic fluid and affects the baby's kidneys. You feel so helpless as a mom, just holding your child and they are just suffering. Deborah carried Milo to 37 weeks. She says Florida's then 15 week abortion restrictions affected her choice. Well, I cried at night um, knowing what she was going through. Dr. David Berger is Deborah's primary care doctor. He says it didn't have to be this way. If this is the decision that they feel is the best for thing for their family, why are we not respecting that? He and the Dorberts are hoping voters approve the abortion referendum this November, but anti-abortion rights activists feel otherwise. Life is precious, that all life from the moment of conception should be protected by love and by law. They and Republican lawmakers feel the current six-week restrictions are necessary. We'll move to Deborah Dorbert. But Deborah's wanting change. She recently spoke in front of lawmakers at a Democratic field hearing on reproductive rights. The next few months were the toughest times of my life. Deborah believes her family could be spared less grief if the state gave her a choice to be induced sooner. But I'm still working on to process and to understand all of it. In Lakeland, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. Florida's new six-week ban has an exception for saving a woman's life along with incest or rape, but only up to 15 weeks.